All right, guys, welcome back to the second part of the video. Um, this is basically the second part of my other video. I'm going to enter, uh, put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. Basically, what happens is in my first part of this video, I talked about all the ingredients or components that you need to make hair rig. So, if any of the parts in this video makes not not making sense or sounds weird or sounds boring, sounds new. Check out my first part of the video and then watch this video. That way you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, it will be easier for you to uh, get it. So, things that you'll need. Again, I'm going to make the basic hair rig, nothing fancy. And uh, ingredients that you will need is, you don't need the bait stuff. You need it only when you uh, load up with corn, but I'm not doing that now. You need a lighter, you don't have to, but it helps me. You need, I'm using Power Pro braided line, this is 30 pound. Carbs are pretty strong. You don't really have to have 30 pounds, 20 or 15 pounds is fine, but this is 30, I just have it, I guess. Uh, so I already cut up a line. You could use a little bit shorter, but mine is about this big, but I know I'm going to, I'm not going to use all of it, but, you know, whatever. You don't need a bait needle now, but uh, you do need a hook, obviously. So I got the hook here. You need ba uh, rig rings. I can need one ring from here. And I'm going to use this cutter for uh, cutting the braid line. So, uh, oops. So let's start off with the hair rig. First off, what you have to do is you just have to make a loop. Um, you just have to make an overhead knot and make a little loop here. So the way to do it is just, that's all I'm doing. Right there. I'm going to make a loop on this end right here. So let's do that real quick. I kind of twist it, that helps me to make the loop and I am going to do it right now. I try to make a small loop so that I don't lose lots of line here, not wasting. So right there, that's all I did. I made a loop and uh, make a knot, overhand fisherman knot. Let's see. Right here, that's it. Now let me make it tight a little bit. Alright, so now that it's done, I'm going to cut off the tag end. This little part right here, I'm just going to cut it off using my special scissor. That cut, that's, this is really good for uh, cutting the braid line. So cut off. And now the lighter. I'm just going to burn that it off just, uh, just a little bit. There you go. That's probably a little bit too much, but that's okay. We'll be fine. So, I have my uh, basic hair rig. So, let's take the. Now, you don't have to use rig rings as I showed you. You could basically use it this way. Um, you know, if you use the rig rings, what's going to happen instead of the bottom stays starts from here. The bottom will up to you wherever you want it. You could you could uh, let me use this one to show you. You could start right here. You could start right here. You could start right here. Whatever wherever you want it to stick out. Uh, you need the uh, if you want to do that. You need the hair rig, uh, rig rings. Excuse me. But if you don't use the rig rings, this is how it's going to look like. But like I said, I like using my uh, rig rings. They help. So I'm going to use mine. Uh, I'm not going to need them for now. Let me get a red one real quick. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this real quick through that ring. And 
I'm going to stop about there. That's about right. Maybe, yeah. Maybe just a bit. Yeah. That's it. So now all I'm going to do is make another overhead knot. So, put that. Oops, why didn't it do it? Hang on guys, I probably messed up somewhere. Probably did something stupid. Alright, here we go. So, where do I want to stop? That's about it. So, that should be right there. There. Uh, it's probably too far away. Probably one little bit closer to the end. Let me see if I can move it. No, that should be fine. There we go. So, all I did was making overhand knot. And now, I'm going to need the hook. I'm going to go from the back of the hook. And through the eye. And go all the way down there. And then I'm going to take the ring and then put it through the tip of the hook. There we go. So, there we go. And I'm going to start from here. This is where my position, so I'm going to stop right there. And this is how it's going to look like. I can change however I want to. Uh, as I mentioned before, I can start from here, I can start from here. I uh, think I'm going to go a little bit shorter, uh, right about there. That still goes a little bit farther. There. Yeah, that looks like it. So, now I'm going to just go around the shaft, uh, probably seven, eight times. And then go back through the eye one more time. And now I'm going to tighten it up real quick. Tight, tight, tight. And that's my hair ring. As you can see, this is it. This is where my uh, the, the corn is going to go in. And I'm going to use it to catch carp. Now what I'm going to do is, I don't like to use a uh, swivel on this side. Instead of the swivel, what I do is I basically make a... I just make overhand knot just like this another overhand knot and uh, let's see and that's it that's all it is thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and uh, thank you.